In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to create warship puzzles using the puzzle generator in PowerPoint. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is to open PowerPoint and have a blank empty slide like this. So if you have any text box placeholders on here, please delete them before continuing. And then once you've done that, what you want to do is choose your trim size up here. So I'm on 8.5 by 11, but you can of course choose any size here. And then once you've done that, click puzzles, click warships here. Now the first screen you'll see is a how to play or game explanation. To include this, just tick the box here and click continue. You can also, of course, edit the text if you want. If you don't want to include it, leave it unticked and then click continue. Now our first option here is to choose our colors. So we have here the option to choose our um, header color. That's our uh, header on top of each puzzle. As you see here, it's warships. Now, typically, if you're creating for KDP, you'll keep this as black, but you may want to use gray as well as another option uh, for KDP. Our next option here is to choose the color of our ships. Now, again, if you're creating for KDP, you want to do a black or some sort of gray. I'm just gonna go for a gray here. Our next option here is to choose the um, formatting and the font of our headers. Now in our font list here, you'll have all the fonts that you have in Office or that you've added to the export tool. You can choose different sizes and styling like bold, italic. I'm gonna leave that on the default for this example. Our next option is to set our titles, our grid titles. So above each grid will appear in this example, warships. So that'd be warships one, warships two, three, four, and so on. You can change this, translate it, or leave it blank, completely up to you. Our next option here is to start our puzzle numbering at a certain number. Now, typically you'll start this at one, but say you make 20 puzzles and then decide you want to make another 20, you could start this at 21 and then it will be consecutive puzzles then. But typically, like I say, you'll leave this on one. Our next option here is how many page numbers worth of puzzles do you want to create? So for this example, I'm just gonna put it on five. Our next example here is to um, show how many puzzles or grids do we want per page. You can do one, two, four, or six. If I show you six in this example, and then our next option here is how many hints or clues to show. Now obviously the more hints and clues that you show, the easier the puzzle will be. So if I just, I'll set this to two and two for the example here. Our next option here is to add a left and right margin. Now if you're creating for KDP, this is obviously pretty essential to have a margin on either side. So I'm gonna, you can set that between zero and one. I'm just gonna go for three quarters of an inch there. Now our final option is to hide titles. Uh, we'll come back to a example where you might find that useful a bit later on. But for now, if I just create these puzzles, click okay. Almost done. There we go, puzzles completed. So as you can see, as I selected uh, two and two clues, so I've got two ship clues and two water clues. Um, you can of course change this if you want to have none or uh, one less or one more, it's completely up to you basically depends on how difficult you want the puzzles to be. Now the first option I want to show you once you have your puzzles here 
is the option to um, do some formatting. So for example, you want to move uh, these puzzles inwards. What you can do is you select them all on this side. Select them all. And then what you do here is put in the distance you want to move them. So I'm going to do uh, 0.2 and then click right. As you see, that goes in there. And then if we do the same for this side, just select all of the shapes we want to move. So it's everything down this side. And then this time we want to move it to the left, just like that. Now, what this does, this will apply the formatting across all of your puzzles here, just like this. Now, the next option I want to show you, which you might find useful, is to change the, um, the font size. Or the formatting of the font. So, for example, here, if you realise, well, actually, I want my um, I want my titles to be a little bit bigger. What you can do is you can select them, and then click Change Individual Fonts here. And then what you can do here is then change the font size. I'll just change the size in this example. Let's do twenty four and then click OK. And then let's just move that up a little bit. And again, this applies all through your puzzles. Now, the next option I want to show you is what I um, was alluding to earlier where the high titles might come in useful. That's if you want to have a different amount of um, puzzles or solutions per slide. Now at the moment, in the settings, if you create one grid um, per slide, one puzzle per slide, you'll get one solution per slide and you can go up to six. But if you want a bit more flexibility, what you can do is use the bulk import and export tool. So let me just show you an example how you could do that. So first thing to do is choose a square uh, trim size here. So I'm gonna go 8.5 by 8.5. And then we're going to go into puzzles. And then we're going to go into warships. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose our settings. So let's um, let's do 40, um, 40 puzzles. I'm going to change the grids by page to one. And I'm going to take off the left and right margins. And I'm going to hide the titles as well. So once we've got our settings here, I'm just going to click OK and wait for it to generate them. Now what you want to do, now the puzzles are generated, is to use the export tool up, hit, up here. So if you click on it, and then what we want to do initially is to just export our puzzles and not the solutions. So if we go one to 40, tap puzzle. I'm gonna keep the quality and resolution the same. And then we're going to choose a folder to save it in. So if I go to 
computer C. Let's create a new folder. Warships. And in there, a folder called Puzzles. And we're going to save them into that folder. And then I'm going to run this again. Export slides as PNG. This time I'm going to do the solutions. So slide 41 to 80. Solution. Keep everything else the same. Click OK. And then what we're going to do is save in the same folder again. So I go computer, C, uh, warships, and then create a new folder in here called solutions. And then just export them to there. Wait for that to finish. And then what we do is we just select all of these slides, delete them. Tap to add a first slide, delete the placeholders again, and then choose the trim size that you want to create your book in. So I'm going to go um, 8.5 by 11. Then what we want to select up here is the bulk import images tool here. And we want to select our puzzles in the warships folder. Now, as you can see here, you have a lot more options for the amount of puzzles you can have per slide from one all the way up to 20. In this example, I'm just gonna go with eight. And this is why I hid the title in the uh, Warship settings page, is because when you import them again, you can set a title above each image here. So I'm gonna go with just puzzle. And then down here, you can set the minimum margins and space between images. Uh, typically, I'll just tick attempt to optimize spacing because that keeps it all uh, tightly knit. So once you're happy with your settings here, you click OK. And now, as you can see, we have our eight puzzles per slide. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to repeat that process. So bulk import images and then do that for our solutions. This time, for example, you may wish to choose a different number here. So you might want to do 20 uh, solutions per slide. Again, change the title here, solution. Keep everything else the same, click OK. And then you have 20 solutions per slide. I hope this quick overview video helps you get started creating warship um, puzzles. Thank you for watching.